Hey, this clay trader in the market just opened up, so I will try to catch some live trades. I will keep you updated. Going for some shares here uh, to short on HPQ at 33. Uh, we'll see if we can push up there. Let it run a little bit here. Getting close. Back down here into the 80s. Now the 70s. All right, well, I will pause it and uh, come back if it looks like I'm, I might get filled. Okay, I changed my order up to 33.15. This is based off of something over on the five minute chart that I see uh, that I feel more comfortable with. So uh, let's see what happens with it. Should be some resistance at 33 just because it's that you know round hole number and usually there's at least some resistance there. As you can see, hovering right around here, trying to uh, get through 33. So what I'm hoping for is if it can push through 33, then a, a good pop up to this next level of resistance, which is over on the five minute that I'm seeing and uh, we'll see if I can get a short there. So that is the current plan. I will let you know if it looks like 33 is going to break. I'll get the, the video rolling again. Well, I apologize. Uh, I turned away uh, and I got filled and uh, things kind of went my way very quickly and I covered down at 33 for a $150 gain. And of course, none of that caught on video. So at least you got to see my thought process going in. Like I said, uh, the highest it went was up there at 33.16. I had my order at 33.15, so the power of charts, uh, you know, led me to that resistance, and you can see uh, acted very nicely. And I could have actually gotten that much more, but you know, I'll take 150 bucks for what was was really, uh, you know, a, a very quick, uh, very quick hold. So um, I'll try to catch some more again. Sorry, I missed that one. Uh, I'll try to catch some more entries and exits here on this next one. Okay, it's up there again. I'm going to go short for some at 33.30. If it can hit up there. So let's see. I'll get back into the 20s. Come on. And there's a pullback a little bit there. All right, well, and all the way back down to the low 30s. All right, I'm going to pause it. I will get back. Okay, going for some at 33, 35. Was going for some at 30, but uh, with you know just letting a, a little bit more of the data develop on the chart, I'm liking the 33, 35 area. How high did it go? 33, 29. So uh, still wouldn't have been filled even if I kept my order at 33, 30. Let's see if it can get up there. And now back down it goes again. So, all right, I will keep at it. Okay, I just arranged my order to bring it down to 33.28. And now you can see it's just totally falling apart. So um, after that great start with that first trade, I have just um, just haven't been, well, let's see, what is that, 32.80? I will pick some up at 32.80 on the long side if it can get down there. But now it's looking like I missed out on that too. Now it's so this one is kind of owning on me right now. Uh, I can't can't get an entry point. So let's see what happens. I will keep you I'll keep you updated. Okay, I'm in on uh, PTCT. Picks them up at twenty four oh two. Uh, just five hundred shares because it's a very volatile stock with a big spread. Um, so I'll look to try to get 10 cents on those. You can see my order right there at 24.12. So let's uh, kind of sit back and see what happens with it. Again, you know, just 500 shares due to the volatility. Got to just acknowledge and recognize that. Uh, so let's see what happens here. If I need to, you know, build a bigger position, I can do that. You can see the chart is uh, overextended here, so just buying it into this overextended state. And it's kind of more of a slow mover, so uh, you know, got to kind of let things develop here. So I will pause it and uh, get back if it looks like I'm either going to buy some more or if it starts to you know head back up. Okay, I have uh, 50 more shares left here, and I'm just going to get rid of those at uh, 24. So um, to be honest, I thought I clicked record. 
and I was just talking to myself this whole time. So it's just not a good day uh, at all in terms of uh, me trying to, to do this recording. But just to recap, uh, the price actually dropped all the way down to 2320. Um, so I tried to pick up another 500 shares down there and they only gave me 50 shares. So that brought my average to 20, uh, 2396, I believe it was. Uh, but then you can see it bounced all the way back up there to 2412. Um, and so I was able to sell my 500 original ones there that I bought at 24, uh, 2402 or what did I buy those at? Yep. 2402. So I sold those at 2412 and then those 50 shares that I bought at 2320, I made actually 80 cents on those, but too bad it was only 50 shares. So, um, but as you can see, and that's why I went in small share size on this, just because, uh, you got to respect the spread, got to respect that. Uh, you know, it's going to be a very volatile uh, stock. So that's what I did and everything worked out fine. Um, but the only thing that's wor not working out fine is my uh, recording abilities here. So sorry about that. Um, but again, at least, you know, I'll try to make up for it here by explaining where everything went. So I think I'm going to try to trade this some more. I do like these uh, bigger spread ones. Going for some shares here at 24.65. I'm in looking to cover at 24.55. Again, just 500 shares. You can see my order right there. People are cut in front of me at 57. And there I am out. So made a uh, relatively quick 10 cents on those shares. Just 50 or 500 shares though. So uh, $50. Let's see if I can catch some more. All right. Well, I am totally worthless today. I went to check on HPQ as I was going to try to uh, form a position on that. But while I did that, I had 450 right here of my 500 shares of short order fill at 2485, uh, and then I was able to make 15 cents on those shares where you can see 450 covered for 2470. Uh, so um, good day for me trading wise, uh, not so good in terms of trying to capture everything on video, but uh, so I do apologize for that. You know, I'm, I'm trying my best. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I've I've usually had a little bit more better success than this. Uh, but at least you're seeing kind of the, the, the flow and things of, you know, how, how I'm trading here. Um, I do have another order in to short at 25, but it's looking like this pullback here is now happening, which is what I was kind of banking on. Yeah, it's bouncing, but it's bouncing within this downwards uh, text or context. So at some point I figured it, it you know, is it going to crash again? I have no idea about that. But, you know, at some point during here, I figured it would at least, uh, you know, roll back over uh, somewhat. So I'll keep that order up there. And I want to kind of venture around and see, uh, check out HPQ again. So I will keep you, I will try to keep you posted. I, that, that's been a lie this whole time, but uh, I will try to try my best to keep you posted. There we go. Now I give myself a little escape clause. Okay, I have an order in a short here at 33.63. Uh, Just from watching, uh, the level two seems to be struggling uh, right up every time it gets there. So, uh, you know, if you can get up there again. Couple that with the for, uh, the fact that this kind type of candle here is forming. Let me zoom in. Looks like I may be may be a little late to the party there on that one. We'll see if it can get back up there or not. So HPQ is just working me over. I, I made that first good trade on it this morning for 150 bucks, but since then it is it has taken me to school. I just cannot get an entry that I feel comfortable with on it. Um, so, but I'm not going to throw anything in. I'm not, I'm not going to trade for the sake of trading just to try to get a personal vendetta. I get a, got against to it. I'm just going to admit it's been getting the better of me, but I'm not going to let, um, you know, that emotional side of things creep in where I, my ego steps in. I say, well, I'll teach you. So let's see if it can head back up there. Okay. Big order there at 54. So it's probably getting ready to. I'll push through there with ease, so let's see what happens here with it. I will uh, keep you posted here. Well, I'm back here on PTCT, going for some at 2180. This is based off the five minute chart. Uh, it'd be a thing of beauty if it could uh, pull back that far, but. Or did I say 2180? Excuse me, that should be 2260. I don't know what I was looking at there. Excuse my stupidity, 2260 is where I'd like to get some. Double check everything since I haven't been uh, all that with it this morning apparently. So 2260, again based off of the, the five minute chart, um, I will uh, keep you updated. Okay, now I'm back on HPQ. 
Uh, trying to go for some short here at 33.78. So let's see if the price can get up there or not. And back in the 60s it goes. So I will. Uh, video is now at 10 minutes, so starting to get long. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be just extra sure now. Uh, if i if it looks like I'm gonna get filled, so I'm gonna try to catch at least one more trade here. Uh, you know, I'm at 357. It's now just a little over 30 minutes into the day. So nice start uh, to the day, uh, but video is getting a little long. So I'm going to pause it. I'll let you know. All right. I'm going to just uh, cut things off now for the video. I can feel myself with the urge of wanting to do stupid things just because I do feel bad about missing out on the trade. So I'm, I'm feeling myself want to just force a trade so I can catch something actually on video, which is bad policy, not good. Uh, business practice for being a trader. So I'm just going to cut things loose again. I'm, I'm sorry uh, that I didn't catch things uh, on, on video, but I do have lots of other videos. So if this is your first time watching, I promise not all of them are this uh, terrible in terms of um, me trying to catch video. So if you go to the YouTube playlist or uh, go to the, the section on the blog, uh, you can watch a bunch of other videos like this live trade um, and those will uh, do a much better job. So again, I apologize for that. Uh, if you did you know, enjoy it and you want to learn how to trade like this, meaning how to use candlestick charts and level twos, I offer courses uh, on both of these things. And I should note that when I say trade like this, uh, candlestick charts and level twos can be applied to multiple strategies, not this uh, day trading. It can be to swing trading or, or you know, anything else. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click in the links below the video. If you're already on uh, claytrader.com, just go to the store. You can see my courses there. Offer Also, I have a, a trading group where you can hang out with me. There's a live chat room. I send out a weekly newsletter. Everything's very fairly priced, especially I think if you, uh, you know, do price comparisons across the internet. I think my courses are extremely, extremely fairly priced. So check those out. And at the end of the day, I'm biased towards all the stuff. So read some testimonials and uh, you know, help, hopefully that'll help you make up your mind. So again, I apologize. Thanks for listening though. Hopefully you're still able to learn at least something. Have a good weekend.